Hi, this is Mary Michonne at Bensell Greenhouse in Toledo, Ohio, and we are talking about plant skid. Um, just a few tips on, on some selling techniques. We've been selling plant skid for years here with such great success. Um, just a wonderful, wonderful product. And if you have customers, I'm sure you do, coming in with the deer issues, the rabbit, the vole issues. Um, in some of the northern areas, you probably have some elk issues as well. Um, this product is perfect, and we wanted to give you some selling tips on it. Um, we have a huge display of plant skid products at our greenhouse, and um, uh, just a lot of different formulations, which is very, very important as a selling tip. But one of the things that will help you when you are selling plant skid is the frequently asked question brochure. We keep this not only at our cash register as people are checking out, but we also keep it um, right next to the product. Some people who are thinking about purchasing the product may take a brochure for themselves. Um, they even may take another brochure for somebody next door, their neighbor, something like that. But we always have these at hand, and I just wanted to reference these because these are just a great tool for you if you have any questions or the customer is asking you questions that you may not know the answers for. Um, your frequently asked questions that we have come across numerous, numerous times are answered beautifully in this brochure. Um, so keep this close by. This would be something for you to, to look over and have it at hand. And if the customer is asking you some questions, this would be a great tool for you to pull out and reference. Um, so what is Plant Skid? Um, it is Swedish for plant protection. It um, originally started in, in Sweden and it is now manufactured and uh, made in the USA. And it is number one, it is the number one choice of animal repellent with professional growers. So not only is your frequently asked question brochure um, in a nice format that you can um, pull out and hand to your customer, but you also have this nice smaller one attached to the ready to use liquid formulation. Um, this one is very, very popular. And what's nice about this is the, the customer walks out the door with it and a lot of their questions, if they may have things after they've gone home, can be answered as well. So all this information that you see on this brochure here, you can find on your um, smaller brochure on the quart size container here. So make sure that those things are attached and uh, the customer walks out the door with one of those as well when they buy the ready to use liquid. But one of the real important parts about Plant Skid that we, um, we have um, great success with is the fact that it comes in so many different types of formulations. So for somebody who wants a quick um, spray, um, who doesn't want to mix something up themselves, this one quart ready to use is available for them. Um, and it might, it might be best for a smaller area. We also have the um, one pound, and there's a two pound as well. And this is a, a, a powder concentrate that you have to mix yourself or the customer mixes at their home. What I really like about this is it does come with a ooh, sorry, concentrate. Your customers have to mix themselves at home. What's really nice is that um, Tree World, the plant skid people have actually added this really nice strainer inside for them to use while they're pouring it into their spray bottle. So this is really a nice, uh, a nice thing for them. They don't have to go out and purchase anything additional. So everything that they need, instructions on how to mix it, all of that is, is located and information is located on the back of the box. So again, a lot of great information on um, the packaging as well. Um, not only do you have your powder concentrate, um, but you have a couple of different types of granular formulations. Um, this one we use quite often for your rabbits. This can be sprinkled along a garden area. For example, you have uh, uh, possibly a raised bed or a garden where the rabbits are coming in and just demolishing or devastating your plants. So this is a nice, easy, small shaker bottle for, for someone who doesn't have a large area. You have your granular formulations for your rabbits, but now um, Plant Skid is, uh, comes in two different packaging sizes for the granular for the deer. So um, it's spring now and this is perfect for the deer as they come and they take off all the tops of your hostas, all your tulips, anything that's just emerging out of the ground. This is a perfect choice for the customer to come in and sprinkle it throughout their garden on the outskirts of their garden. And what happens is as a deer approaches that garden and wants to stick its nose down, um, it detects the plant skid product and um, will move away and not start to eat their plant product. So really nice. You can go very large here for a larger area. You can do something a little bit smaller, um, but this is a nice granular formation that um, they provide now for deer.
sell a lot of plant skid for people who have issues with their rabbits and their deer. Probably the most popular choices, but if you even look at your brochures again, there are some nice pictures for animals uh, that the plant skid works against as well. So um, voles, is, those are becoming a w worldwide problem as well. A lot of people have chipmunk issues. Um, we've heard lots of people who have potted plants who the chipmunks come in and dig everything up. Your opossums, elk and moose in some of the uh, more northern areas, um, but a lot of different animals that plants get protects against, not just your rabbit and your deer. If you question whether or not they will work against that animal, again, refer to your brochure in the frequently asked questions section, and it will list all that information. It also lists the animals on um, your product or packaging material as well. One of your key components in the plant skid application is the fact that it does not have to be reapplied after rainfall or um, during uh, after people have had their irrigation units on. So it really sets itself apart from your other um, animal repellents. So that's a really, really important selling point if you're talking to your customers so they're not out constantly, daily, nightly, whatever, uh, reapplying their product on their plant material. It is not necessary with plant skid. It discusses that in their brochure. It also mentions that on their product application and that is really a very, very important selling technique that or talk point that we, we often discuss with our customers because it is quite a relief for them. Um, it's a time saver when they apply it in, uh, uh, during the right time. Uh, no winds, no freezing temperatures, um, rain has not been predicted within 24 hours. Um, they apply it at the appropriate time and then if it does rain a few days later they're not out reapplying it again. So those are things customers are not necessarily aware of and that's a really great selling point for you to um, make note of when you're talking about plant skin. So you have a lot of different choices as we move through our seasons. We'll start with spring when your customers are coming in and um, you know after a long winter though you're going to see a lot of deer movement, a lot of your rabbits are going to be appearing. Everybody's very very hungry and your customers might be very frustrated with losing a lot of plant material. So you have lots of options with plant skid products. If you're looking at springtime, one thing to remind your customers is about the different microclimates that they might see throughout their yard and um, you might have some plants emerging on the southern side of the house you know where the heat is a little bit higher as opposed to the northern or eastern portion of the yard so you know they might have some issues with not getting out to be able to spray the liquid component on their plant material because spring rains are, are getting in the way so they have the option of using the two different types of granular um, formulations so the rabbits could be out there you could be sprinkling the granular portion down along the ground and if the deer are out looking for your hostas and your tulips, then you have this, um, this formula to be sprinkling the granulars, granulars all over the um, plant material that way. And as the deer try to stick their noses down in the, in the plant material, it's really windy here, um, as you start, uh, you can keep the, their, uh, the deer from foraging on your plant material because of the granular portion. So um, that's, that's what you're looking for in the spring. Uh, making sure that the customer is aware that there are some options um, for applications even if the ra spring rains are kind of affecting how they're spraying. As you move through the summer and everything is pretty much emerged, all your, your plants have leafed out, you have a three month coverage with your plant skid material whether or not you've applied the liquid or the granular portion you have a three month, three month coverage. What's really nice about it, again, is that it does not have to be reapplied if there is rainfall or their irrigation systems have turned on. And as you move into the fall, one thing you want to take note of if you're planting your tulips, you want to protect your tulips, you have the ability to actually dip your bulb in the liquid portion of plant skid and then plant it in the ground. Um, you can, um, if you have some vole damage um, that you've noticed in the springtime, you have to apply your plant skid material in the fall. The damage has already been taking place all over the winter so and in the springtime when the snow melts you already know that there are all these little runs and holes and things like that. The damage has already been done. So you want to apply your plant skid in the fall. So you can either paint the grass with the liquid portion or spread the granule, granulars all over the granulars all over the um, the ground and that will help with your plant uh, the, the vole protection. 
Another thing to consider is um, the buck rub. So you want to get out and spray your material so that it does protect against buck rub, which can really damage a lot of your trees and shrubs. So very important to consider in the fall. And then as you move into later parts of the fall, taking very close note of the weather, your customers have the ability to get out very late in the fall, spray um, or put the granular portion out onto the um, ground or spray their plant material, their yard in the fall, and you have a six month period of winter protection. So PlantSkid is, is an absolutely wonderful product that con continues to work throughout the entire year um, so that they keep that deer, the elk, the voles, the rabbits away from the, all of the um, plant material that they've worked so hard to put in their yard. Remember that your customers are going to have great success with plant skid as an animal repellent, whether it be for their rabbits or for their deer. Um, a couple things that I like to point out to customers, um, some things that are frequently brought up that just to remember, it is OMRI listed so it's completely organic which means that it's really going to be a safe product for them to apply throughout their yard for their animals, dogs, cats, their children are out in the yard, it's not going to harm anyone. Um, you can actually use it in your vegetable garden. And again, it does not have to be um, reapplied after a rainfall or once their irrigation is turned on. So just a lot of great success with this product and your customers will really appreciate the fact that they're all of their plant material is, is, is safe from the animals foraging throughout their yard. So um, just remember the brochure, um, reference that quite a bit, um, hand that to the customer. Um, again, all their questions can be answered just in this brochure alone. It's got a, a great amount of information for them, very simple and easy to read. And then um, good selling, good selling with PlantSkid.